Media Toolbox features a full imposition engine that can be used for complex imposition tasks, but it is also excellent for easy things such as creating a booklet or doing a quick step and repeat of something like business cards. The example file I have opened is exactly that, a business card consisting of back and front. And what I would like to do is do a step and repeat of this business card, two columns by five rows on an A4 sheet. Let's see how we can accomplish that. In PDF Toolbox, the imposition engine lives in the switchboard. So we need to bring that up by going into the tools menu and then selecting switchboard. Or of course, we can press Command 2 on Mac or Control 2 on Windows. This brings up the switchboard window. Your view of it might be slightly different if you've worked with this before because you might not be seeing the home screen, but you can get to where I am by simply clicking the home button. In this switchboard window, different buttons have different groups of functionality behind them and the imposition engine lives under the arrange button. So let's click that and then here at the bottom we see step and repeat. So we need to click this one again and that leads us to the switchboard page where we can do step and repeat of our file. Let's start by something simple like a two column by two row imposition and we'll leave this set to minimal size to see what happens. Click execute to run this on the file that we have open and PDF Toolbox creates four business cards on one sheet and the sheet is exactly big enough as necessary. We started with a PDF file that had front and back. So in this imposition layout, I also have front and back. Now, this is not exactly what we want. We wanted an A4 document with 10 business cards. So we'll need to change some settings and changing those settings, I can do by going back in the switchboard and then modifying what I need to modify here. But I also want to go back in our document. I want my original document. And we can do this by going to the file menu and selecting revert. Or if we want to do that quicker, command R on Mac, control R on Windows. So here we are back. And now I'm going to ask PDF Toolbox to give me two columns of five rows. And under the sheet size, I'm going to select A4. I am also going to enable the option to create cut marks. So let's try this again, click execute, and I have something that is exactly what I want. Now I have an A4 sheet that I can see here at the bottom left. I have two columns of five rows each with cutting marks in between. Let's go back in the switchboard and let's go back in my document to the original business card by pressing Command R, Control R if you are on Windows. And before we end this video, I want to show you the two options we have not used yet. I am going to ask PDF Toolbox to give me five millimeters of spacing in between all pages it puts on my imposition sheet. And I'm also going to ask it to provide a 10 millimeter offset, both horizontally and vertically. So press execute again, and you can see what happened. And you see what happened. I have now five millimeters of spacing in between two trim marks. So my business cards have been positioned with a horizontal and vertical spacing of five millimeters. And I can see that all of my business cards have had an offset of 10 millimeters to the right and 10 millimeters to the top. It might seem confusing 
that when I specify 10 and 10, that that offset is to the right and to the top. But you should remember that in PDF, the origin or the 00, zero point is the bottom left corner of the document. So if I specify a positive number, I will be moving the contents to the right and to the top. If I want to shift left or to the bottom, I can enter negative numbers in these fields. That's it. An easy way to step and repeat PDF files onto a larger sheet. Of course, this could also be done automatically, either as part of a process plan or using PDF Toolbox Server, CLI or SDK. Find more information about this and many other things on help.calasoftware.com.